Hi, welcome to the Virtual Sparks Art Room. My name is Moonstone, and you are part of a pretty cool group of sparks from all over Canada that are going to come together today virtually to make some art. The pretty cool thing about the fact that this is virtual and it's a video is that you can pause me at any time you need to. Did you maybe forget an extra paintbrush? Go ahead, pause, grab the brush and come right back to where you were before. Maybe you need to take a little break and have a snack. Totally cool. You can hit pause and come back whenever you're ready. Don't feel rushed to follow along exactly what we're doing. It's all about experimenting and just having lots of fun. So speaking of having fun, I think we're gonna need some supplies before we get into our art project. Amazing. So that's all the stuff that you're going to need to get started today on our little project. You can have it around you on your table, in front of you, beside you, maybe not on top of you, and we definitely don't want to be sitting on it, but somewhere nearby so that you can have it to use when we're ready. So the first thing that we're going to put out in front of us is, of course, our paper. So this is what we're going to be making our wonderful art piece on. I've got a yellow paper in front of me. You can have whatever color you want. Um, it could be white, pink purple, go crazy. So we've got our paper in front of us. And the next thing that we're going to need is something to put some paint into. So we've got our paint palette here. You can also use something like a little metal dish or a scrap piece of paper, just something that you're going to put your paint onto to use. I'm going to use my paint palette right here. So let's go ahead and grab some paint colors for us to use. I'm going to start with purple. So we've got this purple paint right here. Now you can use the paint colors right out of the paint tube or you can mix them yourself. If you wanna practice mixing some colors to see what we get. This one is a red that I'm gonna use. Pour it right in. Also I'm gonna put in some yellow, give it a shake. Yeah, feel free here to put as many colors as you want ready for you to use. I'm gonna go with some orange. And like I said, you can test mixing colors as well if you would like. I'm just using them straight from the bottle right now, but you can test it out. So we've got pink we're going to put my favorite color if you couldn't tell and there we go I think we'll get started with just that maybe we'll add some stuff later uh, if we feel like we need some more but we'll put that right to the side there we go so now we've got paper and we've got paint and let's think what else are we missing if we want to put something on this paper so you probably would think oh a paintbrush but we are going to use something different to put our paint onto our paper today. We're going to stamp. So usually if you say stamp, you're probably thinking of those little pieces of rubber that got all these intricate designs put into it and little shapes and then you'll stamp it and put it on your paper. But today we're gonna to use stuff that you can find around the house. So you'll, you would have seen in our beginning part where I showed you what you needed, that there was random things like leaves and paper and pine cones. And that's the stuff that we're gonna to use to stamp. So let's go ahead and test one of our stamps. So depending on what you got in front of you, you can pick out whatever you would like to stamp with. I'm gonna to choose to start this sponge that I've got here. It's got all this like other old paint on it and stuff like that. So we're gonna make some use out of it. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush, put some paint. Let's go with purple. We're gonna grab our purple paint, put it right onto this sponge here, just like that. And then put our paintbrush to the side and we're gonna stamp it onto our paper. I'm gonna put it right here. So 
push it down, and there we go. So we've got a funky little shape right here on our paper that we made with our sponge. So that's basically the main part of this project is a bunch of stamping. So you're gonna use all the different things that you collected to make different shapes on your paper. So other than the sponge, let's see, what else do we got here to use? Oh, this one's pretty cool. A potato. It's not snack time, but we're going to use a potato to make a stamp. So you see this one that I've already cut out and did a little test on, kind of looks like a flower. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. Now you can use a potato. I've seen sometimes people can use apples as well for this. And you're gonna need some help from a parent for this part of the project. So you're gonna take your potato and you're gonna have an adult take a knife and help you cut a shape into your potato. So we're gonna cut some little triangles. I'm gonna make the flower again. So you can follow along. There we go. If you wanna make a flower, but you can make other kinds of shapes as well. We'll cut another part of our flower. There we go. And we're basically gonna keep going around our potato just like that until we've got our shape that we want. And this is gonna be making a little stamp. Almost done, we'll do one more. And again, make sure at this point an adult is helping you to make this stamp. This one, because it requires a knife, you need a little bit of extra help, which is totally fine. There we go. So now we've got a little flower and this can go in the compost. So here's our pretty little flower that we've got going on here. And we are going to stamp with it. So the other one that I used before, I had pink that I put on it. So let's use that one again. We'll get some pink paint, put it all over, just like that. Get messy with it, doesn't need to be a perfect layer. Just as long as you've got some paint on there, it's a stamp. Awesome, so we've got our paint. Time to stamp. We're gonna put it right in the middle beside where we put our sponge stamp. Press, press, press. Pull it up. Wow, we've got a flower. And you know what? Our stamp that we made with our sponge kind of looks like a leaf. So that's the fun part about stamping is that you can play around with all the things that you've got. So let's test out some other things to see what kind of shapes we make and then we will keep going together. I'm gonna to test out this cork. Let's see what kind of, I think this one's gonna be kind of a circle. Boom, cool looking circle. What else should we test out together before I let you get crazy with all your stamps? I'm gonna test out this leaf. So these can be just random things that you find around your house. Maybe it was something that you had in the recycling, like an old piece of paper that you crumple up. Anything you find outside, maybe it's a stick, maybe it's a rock. Let's put a leaf beside our flower, right? Maybe you have an old jar that you wanna use. Awesome, look at that leaf. Wow, that's really cool. We're gonna put that to the side. So let's see here. Oh, I mentioned in an old jar, let's try our jar. See, this is just a lid from a jar that came from sauce. So we can reuse it. We're gonna go with orange. Now, you can use some water, just in a little container like this, to rinse off your brushes. You know, make sure we can all see. We're gonna rinse, 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 get all the paint off if we wanna swap colors before putting it into our new color. So we're gonna rinse, tap, tap, tap. Rinse a bit more, cause I saw some paint. And grab our paper towel and tab it on. And there we go, clean brush. Ready to plunge into our orange. 
Let's see what happens when I put some orange paint on here. Do, 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 to make our other cool stamp. All right, so we've got orange on our lid and I'm gonna put it, mm, let's say down here. Press it down, lift. <gasps> A funky looking circle, kind of like wobbly, super cool. So basically that's kind of the main part of our stamping project. So you can take time now to go ahead and grab whatever you have around you that you want to use as a stamp to test out putting things on the paper. Let's say you put a bunch of things and you want to restart and get another paper. Awesome. You can totally do that. Make as many explorations as you want until you get one that's your favorite piece of paper with all your stamps on it. So I want you to have one paper by the end that's got a bunch of stamps that you really love on it. And then we'll check back in to see what to do after. We're gonna speed up my process and then we'll all join together at the end to see what we've got. with some pretty messy paint fingers, which is the most fun part, honestly. And we have our chosen print. So this is what I have finished with. Once we have our favorite print that we made using all of our stamps, we are going to wait to let it dry a little bit. And while it's drying, I want you to kind of think is there anything else I could add to this to make it even more amazing? Because that's the cool thing about art. You can kind of put different mediums together. So a medium in art would be the things that you use to make it. So this medium would have been using paint to make some stamps. And another one could be crayons to draw with, or it could be materials that you collage with. So collage would be to glue things on top of each other. And that is sort of what we're going to add to this one. We are going to use new mediums other than paint to make our print even more exciting. So while it's drying, you can go ahead and gather some other supplies. I'm gonna put this off to the side. You can gather some other supplies to collage. Now, when we're collaging, we can think about drawing on top of it. So we've got some crayons like this. We can think about gluing some stuff. So we'll have some glue, just like this. We can think about adding some funky glitter on top. So I've got this confetti that we can glue on top. Can think about adding string could be cool glue some string on so i've got some string beside me or maybe some ribbon just like this even the good old trusty leaf can come back again if you want to go outside and find some cool leaves drawn to glue on top of your paper and um, i think that's about it i mean you can really go crazy with this if you want to have a Ma old magazine that you want to cut out some pictures from, stickers, you can get new paper and cut out shapes from your other paper and then glue it on top. So start thinking about that while we wait for our beautiful print to dry. Okay, awesome, so now that our print is nice and dry, we are gonna get started on collaging. So I've got some glue here that I put just in the cap of my jar so I make sure not to use too much glue because we don't want to get it all over our paper and make it super, super wet. So I think I'm going to glue on some string. So like I said before, um, you don't have to follow along exactly what I'm doing, just like when we did the stamps and you sort of did your own thing with the stamps and you kind of got to have fun and explore 
what different shapes different things made and how they stamped onto the paper. You can do the exact same thing with this collaging. So I'm taking some glue with a paintbrush, with an old paintbrush, just so I don't ruin it, and I'm putting it on our paper where I want to put my string. So I want to make like a squiggly string going across, going across my paper. So we're gonna make a line with some glue going all the way. The nice thing about using a brush or you can use a popsicle stick like this, or you can use like a, a wooden stick like this for the glue is it gives you some control. So the glue doesn't accidentally end up all over your paper. There we go. So now we're gonna start putting our string on like a little wiggly worm. Maybe it's Herman the worm coming to join our party. So there we go. That looks pretty cool. And that's of course gonna dry slowly, but we're gonna leave it just like that. Maybe we'll cut off our edge here so we don't get it stuck on something. And we've got a little wavy line going across. That's pretty cool. I also really wanna put some glitter or some confetti. I got this cool star confetti right here and we all love a little sparkle. I wanna add some of that maybe to my flowers. So let's put some dots of glue right there. I'm gonna grab a, a little, little star, drop it on. Fun. What about one here? Maybe we'll put a pink one. There we go. Gonna keep going. Put some more. That's pretty funky. Awesome. So that's something else you can do is some like glitter, some stickers, put some stuff on top. Now let's think, we've glued some things on. How about drawing some stuff on? Because you can totally draw on top of your painting if it's dry enough, that is. So we're gonna grab, hmm, let's grab a crayon. I wanna make some little swirls inside of our circle. Just like that, pretty funky. And then another one over here, more swirls. How about a swirl up here? There we go. And one more swirl for good measure, I think so. We can't have too many swirls. There we go. Some crayon swirls and let's use this orange marker to match. How about we draw some lines like that? I'm gonna put some lines, it's almost like a sun, because I think that these circles kind of look like suns now that I put the swirls in. Make some sun shapes. Some more and more sun over here. That's pretty cool. There we go. And here we have so far what I've done with my collage. I'm liking it so far. I think, again, let's speed things up a little bit and we'll check back in when you think that you've also got your collage totally figured out and you're super happy with it. like that we have our final piece so this is my final stamp and collage piece I really love it super happy with it I hope you had lots of fun I never stop creating getting messy with paint it's always the best and always of course promise to share be a friend stay sparkling maybe we'll see you next time bye